Namaste. My name is Vishwanath. Today, actually, I'm going to show a brief demo about uh, e-commerce store, uh, kind of building system also for uh, retail stores. So this is my brother's men's fashion store. Actually, I have built a simple website uh, building system using Spread Simple, then backend functionality with public connect actually in this one we have like auto update uh, stock quantity of the each product whenever new order is placed then adding or updating the existing customer adding details into order order details and order summary and yeah uh, sending message on whatsapp email and uh, sms I need to work on the SMS set, but already configured WhatsApp messages. So whenever customer uh, order from this, otherwise whenever the shop manager, a shopkeeper add a new order, so the customer will be automatically received WhatsApp. So let me show the uh, functionality briefly how it's working so uh, actually these are the list of products I have added and I just uh, add the brief details but we can add more details so here uh, these are the product items what I'm doing is like I'm going to add them so quantity to then yeah I want to add more so actually let's go to this jackets okay so here there is no image, so it's not showing anyway. And uh, this And this is actually amount paid is to uh, understand uh, like uh, in some most of the business here actually they need to offer the credit it's not credit card but credit it's like they'll show for 2500 but uh, some, sometimes customer pay only uh, partial amount so in that case actually to know like uh, which customer paid full and what is the balance in case so there we have given the new field called amount paid so that we are going to enter here it's like 2300 then the payment gateways just to get it it's not we are not processing any uh, payments through these but just to know what is this uh, payment method customer paid so the details will be recorded in the transaction if necessary so these have done and now if we go to this sheet order summary there is new order placed that is 2400 and 2300 is paid and balance is 200 i've just automatically calculated and updated here and then order details are updated here with this with the customer number or whatever it is and then the customer details are updated here like with the name and mobile number email address whatever we have given like this okay here I purposefully given this number just to check whether if it is new customer then we will add the new record so let me explain the overall flow now how it is happened and then yeah we are updating the uh, quantity also here we can see uh, quantity whether which one is placed sss001 is been ordered as two a quantity two and uh, s015 so actually i'm just uh, to check that uh, testing purpose i have added these two columns uh, these for backup and these for sales so here uh, red is in the quantity automatically so it is it was earlier 419 so now it became 417 due to that quantity so let me explain the process now 
so whenever the customer or upkeeper place an order what we are doing is like automatically we are updating the order summary like these are the order id and total and paid uh, along with the date here order and timestamp here and then customer id is like actually we are picking up based on the mobile number because we are assuming that that will be unique for each customer in this case so we can assume or we can create new unique customer id sequentially if required later on so then we are updating this and then in the order details actually we are capturing more details upon the order order id and the items and the price and customer id and if we required any other data like uh, related to order id then we will capture all of them here and then we are adding the customers if you uh, it is new customer based upon mobile number then we are adding the new if it is old customer existing customer then we will update this data so i will also show that okay now i am going here you can see the functionality now also like now the stock is 417 so let me add one okay just one now just for testing purpose so whatever we have added number that is fine because we are not looking upon this number and email id is optional because uh, in this case actually my brother's business do they don't deal with the email much customer email so we are ignoring that so that we make not required optional then uh, this address also optional but still you can yes input it and then total amount is 550 and this time actually i am paying 500 rupees so i am going to select phone pay or something uh, then then check out okay so now it should be reduced automatically by by one item yes you can see that stock is now reduced here it is increased just to understand that and at the same time here new order id is updated along with the some details and then order details this one and then in customers we have updated the customer detail actually here you can see it was earlier one number of order one and total order amount was 3350 now you can see that just to compare again is this particular user here if you filter with this customer like this and this record here 2800 plus 550 it is 3350 it should be this yes so it is ordering like this and uh, at the same time actually we are sending messages whatsapp messages to customer directly from our number like this Our details. Thanks for shopping. Order ID, amount, amount paid, items. These are the items, and we are asking them to add and review on Google Maps, like this. So how is it? Hope you like it. And let me let please share me your feedback. Okay, done.